Are you looking to run a faster park run? Well, here's a great session to help you on your way. Tuesday morning today and ready for a tempo session. So what are we going to be doing in a tempo session? So tempo running is running at sort of a steady pace which is quite a comfortable, uncomfortably hard pace to run at. So something like your 10k or half marathon pace. So for me I'm going to try and do around 6.15 a mile, try and hit that target pace for my tempo run this morning. So. I'm going to try and hit around four miles minimum. If I'm feeling good, I might try and do five miles, but four miles is roughly two loops of the washlands here. So um, yeah, let's get into it. I've done a two mile jog, a little bit longer than usual this morning. I was a bit cold, taking a while to warm up in the morning. Um, get nice and warm and then do some um, dynamic stretches, some activation and into the session. Time for some post-session thoughts. So really pleased with that one, another great session. So two weeks running, I've had a great interval session, a great tempo session. Um, here in the tennis court, I definitely hit that one right in the middle of a racket. So I'd aim for 6.15 pace. I'd have been happy with that. 
um, but I did actually start my first mile was about 6.10 maybe just under and then progressed it down to I think I had a 6.05 or a 6.06 was the quickest one and they were all within that range so as tempo runs go that was pretty much spot on so again um, really happy with that because the last sort of two or three tempo runs I've done um, I've got aimed to go about 6.15 maybe low 6 pace hit like 6.15, 6.20 for the first mile and then dropped off to 6.30, 6.40, only on like a four mile tempo. Um, but I decided to change it up slightly this morning and the key thing I did differently was that little warm up at the start. So two mile jog, which I'd done both times, but I didn't do any activation, any dynamic stretching. And I think probably just went into that first mile a little bit cold on the previous occasions. So this occasion I was nice and warmed up, ready to go into it and hit that first mile already warmed up and running well and then it allowed me to complete the rest of the three miles at a comfortable pace rather than probably pushing it too hard on cold muscles in the first um, mile of my previous two runs when sort of my breathing and everything hadn't warmed up as well and um, that probably caused dropping off towards the end so next time for these tempo sessions like with my intervals I'm going to get that little 10 minute warm up in just do that and then I'll be able to do my session well. So really happy with that one. Check in later. So how can I use a tempo session to get quicker at my park run? So the idea of a tempo session is to build up your sort of endurance at running at a consistent speed at that pace. So it's that speed endurance element similar to like what we're doing in the intervals. But the difference with the tempo is that you go at a slightly slower pace, but one you can try and extend and hold for the whole duration of the run. So in this example, I did a four mile tempo. It was roughly just over 24 minutes. So I, I was training for longer than I do a park run at, which gives me that endurance element that I'm confident that I can finish the park run strong. Whereas if I was just doing the sessions, like the interval sessions in the first week, I'd know that I'd have the speed, um, but you know that when you're running a 5K, you can't stop every three minutes and have a one minute rest to catch your breath and then go again. You've got to be able to piece the two bits together so that you've got that endurance at the speed and you've also got that top end speed. So that's a really key um, part of why we do a tempo session to help our 5K running. Thanks again for listening along and be sure to stay tuned for the next episode, the episode three of the How To Get Faster In Your 5K series.